What's up everybody and we're back again. Finally gonna get a few more hours in on the E30 today. Um, bit of a busy with other stuff, so it's finally pulled the covers off. Got a bit of a head start on it the other night. We should be able to get a good stint on it today. I'll just show you where we're up to. So I got started stripping all this side of the engine bay back. I wanna get the whole engine bay stripped out, anything out that doesn't need to be there, fill some of these holes at the back, and then get everything ready for paint. So today I wouldn't mind getting the rest of the underseal. Some of you that have been following for a while remember it took all the underseal off of the wire wheel. The only part I hadn't done was this inner guard here because it, um, I had the car tilted on its side. I'll put a photo up here. Um, so I just need to pull all the front end back out so I can get in behind there, get the rest of the underseal off. Which, while it's all out, I'll clean this cross member up and repaint all that as well. And then this side's already primed. So I'm just going to go through, probably do a little bit of seam welding, just a few stitches on the towers. Um, just pretty much go over, check everything is sweet. And then just shaping this a bit nicer. Um, hopefully we can get most of that done today. So we'll get this camera set up and hook into it. Alrighty, so just got the rest of the front end out. I'll show you where I've got to clean up in here. I've got to get all this under seal off, just like that. Just with the wire wheel, get it all back to bare metal. Get rid of that unnecessary weight. I actually don't need this bracket anymore, I just need the brake line bracket, so I'll cut that off. Make sure there's no excess brackets or anything. Get everything cut off. So we've got most of that off now. There's a few little bits up in the corners where that wheel can't get, but I'll grab those with a scraper. Look up in that corner. Um, other than that, it's actually looking pretty good. Got it all up under here as well. So just notice there's a bit over here I need to get. Is that piece there? I should really try and weigh this stuff because, man, there's, there's a lot of it. went through and cut off any excess so like this join here where it's spot welded had a quite like about 15 mil extra steel there that didn't need to be there um, same with up here there's a this lip this edge along here was quite thick so trim that off there was a little um, welded on with nut here and just look, little bits where there's excess just trim those off I just need to sand them up and here I'm hopefully gonna it's got these little spot welded nuts on, obviously for bolting through from the other side from the factory, but because I don't need them, I'm going to just drill them out, get them off. Alrighty, now that I'm happy with all the brackets being cut off, I just trimmed a bit more around where the old um, battery tray was. I'll start making cardboard templates, I want to block these holes, that hole, that hole, those holes, and then let's get them blocked up.
Alrighty, so just finished the most of the patches. There was a couple of holes there and there, and quite a bad one there, so I just made a large patch. Over those, there is another hole up here, a little bit of rust there, which I didn't see before. Um, but that's me for today, I think I'm gonna have to call it, but solid as progress. Happy as with how far I got today. Um, hopefully, by the end of the week, I can sort of chip away it out after work and have it ready for get some primer on it. Maybe try and paint it next week. I'm only painting pretty much the whole front end, just like A pillars forward. So, actually, came out pretty sweet. Oh well, cheers for watching, guys, and uh, hopefully, it's not too long for the next one. I know this one was a bit delayed, but uh, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Oh, yeah.